Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be showing you how to install dot package custom content into your Sims 3 game on a Mac. So just to repeat and make everything clear, this is dot package Sims 3 on a Mac, okay? So if you're looking for dot Sims 3 pack, I'm sorry, this is not the video. I will link an article down in the description on how to get dot sims 3 pack but this is dot package um so if y'all are wondering like what's dot sims 3 pack and what's dot package dot package goes into your finder and you install into your game through your finder while dot sims 3 pack goes into your sims 3 launcher and you have to install it into your game through your launcher so we're going to be doing dot sims no uh, sorry dot package which goes into your finder so i'm going to try and make this as clear and easy as possible. I will also put the descriptions and all links and stuff that I use, all websites and all that good stuff in the description so that it is no hassle, super easy for you guys. Um, and I'm going to try and make this as quick and easy as possible, although it might not be because I'm very, I'm a fast talker, I'm a fast person, I guess. Um, so my apologies. First things first is to start everything off, everything is we're going to go into your finder. Um, the first thing you're going to find is you should go into documents. Ignore all this stuff. This is everything for like my school paper and stuff. I'm going to delete this. Uh, and you will find a folder in documents called electronic arts. Okay, I'm going to enlarge on this so you can see. Also, really quickly, if you do not see electronic arts in your documents, you might not have been playing your game for long enough. Example, like if you just if you just now downloaded your game, if you haven't played it or you haven't played it very much, you have to go play it for like a little while, like just make a family or something and say like just play your game for a little bit and then there will be the electronic arts stuff folder in your documents. Then there will be the Sims 3 and all these folders. What won't be in here is the mods folder and that's what you need so you are going to have to create your mods folder okay and it has to be this capitalization you can't do like no capitalization it has to be capitalized m o d s okay it has to look exactly like that and in there you you will create the packages um what is it <laughs> what is it called you have to create the packages folder and as you can see i have accessories and clothing and deco and etc etc you don't need that those are not necessary you can put your downloaded custom content straight into the packages folder I just prefer to keep things a little more organized but yeah to repeat electronic arts the sims 3 mods packages this now as you can see I have this resource cfg in here you need that if you don't have that None of your custom content will, none, uh, I don't know if Sims 3 pack will work, but I know for a fact dot package will not work if you do not have resource.cfg. I will link that in the description. And I will also show you right here, resource.cfg. All you have to do is super simple, just click on the link in the description. It'll take you here, you click download, really no big deal, show in finder, like, also, ignore all this, okay, this is just stuff that I downloaded that has yet to go into my game, but it'll just be right here, okay, as you can see, that is .zip. This brings us to our next thing, this video kind of skips around, and I'm sorry, but there is sort of a lot of steps. You need what is called, this was an ad, ignore that, <laughs> you need what is called, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you need what is called Keika, okay. So I will link the Keika website in the description, or if you just want to look it up really quickly, Keika, I use the second one, source, forge.net. There is 100%, at least for me, no, like, bugs or anything that comes with it. It didn't mess me up. Just go to files, and under files, it should say looking for the latest version right here, download Keika. You just download that, you move it to your applications folder, like, yeah, and you will need an administrator's password and name. Um, so if you don't know that, call over your parents or something, or you might have a problem. I don't really know. That is your personal dealio. And so here we have Keika. 
do not change the settings. There is no need to change the settings. Everything will work. And what we're going to do is... Da, 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 da. Where's our second one? Oh, no. So we have downloads, okay? And we have this. Resource.cfg.zip. We need to extract that. Okay, so extract. Da, da, da. Just click here. And you'll have resource.cfg. Now, as I told you before, gonna... There's so many things. I... Mods. Okay. You'll put this in the mods folder. Just move it here into the mods folder. I don't need it again. So I'm just not gonna put it in there. If you do not get resource.cfg, I guarantee your .package files will not work. Okay? So now that you have that in here, let's say you start downloading. Personally, I like Tumblr. If you guys want to go follow, just, just go follow. <laughs> you want to go follow um, my tumblr it is this right here link in the description I just repost a bunch of stuff that I use and that I find interesting so all of my custom content that I use or a lot of it um, will be reblogged on this page it goes back a lot I reblog a lot um, so you will guarantee guaranteed find something that intrigues you there's skins and stuff and lots of hair Lots and lots of hair. I love all these hairs. They're so good. Just, ah, there's so much. <laughs> um, skins, decoration, shoes, clothes, hair, sims, just, ah, there's so much stuff. In the description, I will also link a bunch of my favorite websites to go to. But let's say you downloaded something. I'm not going to download another thing. But, um, oops. Again, I'm sorry, you guys, I have some weird stuff in here, so just ignore that. But okay, I want this hooded eyelid. I think these eyelids would look really pretty. I want them. I want them in my game now. But as you can see, there's a difference. There's .rar, there's .zip, and then there's .package, and the .package looks like a little piece of paper or a folder. Sometimes it comes, that's not even, sometimes it comes in a folder a bunch of doc packages, sometimes it comes in a folder with dot pack package and a dot sims 3 pack. What you need is either a folder that has a dot package in it or a um, dot simple dot package. If you have a dot rar that will not work what you need to do. Ignore these. I'm sorry for these. If you notice them and you're like, what the hell? Just ignore those. Um it is not what it looks like. <laughs> But what you need to do is you need to extract that, just as we did with the resource.cfg, is you need to just take it, drag it, no need to change any of the settings, and it'll come out. See, this one came out as a folder. As you can see, there is a .sims3 pack. You don't need to do anything with that. That's not going to affect anything. And then after that, what I do, or what I do, what you have to do is drag it into your .packages. I'm going to put it in another one of my folders because, I, as I said before, I'm a very organized person. But if you're just putting it in your dot packages, no other folders, that's totally fine. As long as it is in your dot packages, um, then it'll work. Okay, so yeah, if you have, if you downloaded something and it comes just as a dot sims three pack, I'm sorry, but that will not work. If you really want that, again, article will be in the description of how to get that. But um, I don't do that stuff, so that's going in my trash. But anyways, now that you've had all this stuff. Yeah, um, I think that should be it. Again, I will write all the steps in the description because I do go pretty fast. I apologize, I'm a fast talker. I've been doing this since I was in the fourth grade. So, oh, excuse me. I know my way around this stuff, but yeah. Also, really quickly, just with AdFly, I'll give you an example. Like, let's say I'm downloading something and it takes me to AdFly. What I did not know when I downloaded this stuff was this. Oh, okay. Um, this is gonna take me to AdFly. Do not click anything. Do not click here. Do not. It'll say start download now. Do not click this stuff. Don't. Don't do it. That'll give you bugs. Right here, click skip ad. Okay, and it'll go ahead and download, or it'll take you to Sims File Share, or it'll take you to Mediafire or Dropbox, Megabox, I don't know, it'll take you somewhere, but yeah, 
don't fall into the ad fly hole. Don't do it, you guys. That'll give you bugs. But yeah, hopefully this all works for you guys. Um, just to recap, you have to have, in documents, you have to have Electronic Arts, Sims 3, Mods, Packages with the resource.cfg in the Mods, and then you can put all your stuff there, and you need Keika, and you need to extract. Hopefully this was simple enough for you guys. Um, yeah, make sure to hit me up on Tumblr if you want a nice, good place to get custom content. I'll be linking everything in the description, every single thing I mentioned, as well as some of my favorite places to get stuff. So, thanks for watching. Hope this works.